Hello. Hello. How's it going? It's great. How about you? Great, right? <laughs> yeah, great. <laughs> great. Um, <laughs> welcome back to another episode of Wicked Mysterious. I'm your host, Danny. And I'm Katie. And this is Mini Mystery Monday. Woohoo. Yay. Mini mm. Mystery number three? Four. <laughs> is it four or yeah. three? Four. Oh, four. Wow. Yeah. Cool. It's creeping up. It's getting higher and higher <laughs> every week. <laughs> I have an episode for you today. Yeah, I'm really excited for this. Really? Um, yeah. Yeah. How's how's everything? You excited? I am excited. Um, is this a good one? Am I um, going to love yeah, it? Yeah, I'm really excited about this. Um, this is a strange phenomena. Ooh. Um, yes. Yeah. That I saw covered by creep time i don't know if anybody follows creep time but i save a lot of his videos for us to cover because it's pretty much exactly what we do Mm -hmm. so check him out um it's been a while since i watched it so that i don't actually steal his words yeah um yeah i like doing that too yeah yeah so today's episode is the uncanny valley Have you heard of this before? Um, yes. Okay. I, I can't think of which, in uh, which YouTube. Um, what the fuck's the word I'm looking for? You channel. <sighs> yeah. Thank you. <laughs> I I can't think of which YouTube channel covered it that I saw. Um. So I'm gonna just read the definition. Yeah. The uncanny valley is a hypothesized relation between an object's degree of resemblance to a human being and the emotional response to that object. <laughs> the uncanny valley is the region of negative emotional response toward robots that seem almost human. Movement amplifies the emotional response. So basically, this is the feeling you get when you see something that looks human, but you know isn't. Mm-hmm. The uncanny valley refers to the dip on the scale of affinity versus human likeness with affinity on the Y axis and human likeness on the X axis. As the human likeness increases, so does affinity, but only to a point. Once human likeness reaches about 75%, affinity drops drastically. This dip on the graph is referred to as the uncanny valley, where the human brain now perceives human likeness to be a threat. Ah, I see. Now, does hum- does uncanny valley also relate to like areas that are cre- like I think I remember something about like empty areas that are creepy like to us because they're not supposed to be empty like a mall for example or um you know or just like something that we feel like we've seen before mm-hmm. like is that also does that apply to this as well? Um, Uncanny Valley, because for some reason, I always attributed Uncanny Valley to like like an empty mall. Not that I've read, but I see where you're going with that. Like and it makes I us do, uneasy, yeah. like it's not natural. I do have some examples that kind of head toward that kind okay. of direction that aren't necessarily Uncanny Valley, but it's the same like gut feeling. Okay, yeah, I was so, going to say, I could be totally wrong. I just no, feel like... No, you're right. Yeah. Um, it's just that general feeling that like something's not right. Yes. Um, but I'm pretty sure the Uncanny Valley just refers to like human likeness. Okay, and like the human um, likenesses and like... Um, like avatar and how those creatures like resemble yep so affinity is how much you like it versus dislike it i Mm -hmm. guess um and human likeness is how much it actually looks like a human okay so yeah um some of the things on here is an industrial robot we don't necessarily like it and Mm. but it doesn't really look like a human right so it's kind of like like marty like marty at stop and shop oh yeah like he doesn't look like a human so we don't like him but we're like right. this is weird are you scanning me are you watching me listening to me but but if you don't he look looked like, like a person we be... wouldn't like him at all yeah yeah but so there are other things that do look like people but 
they're not they're not they don't really look that much like people to where it dips into the uncanny valley so okay. it's kind of the graph if you have time to google it it uh-huh. goes up and then dips hugely okay the more it looks like a human the less we like it by like a lot okay so that's so, why it's so interesting interesting yeah so um this phenomenon is mo- most commonly seen in robots but there's also other examples of it one of the most famous examples of this is the test screening of Shrek in 2000. Mm. DreamWorks depicted Princess Fiona as hyper-realistic, causing the affinity for her to drop drastically into the Uncanny Valley. Oh my gosh, so is this also applied to like even like Sonic the Hedgehog, even though he's not human? But remember how many people did not like the the interpretation of the first Sonic because he looked too realistic? Yes, like, yes. Like, people were not okay with it. Yes. It was a huge problem. Yes. And i'm so did glad they, they change they, it they did they change, change him. yeah so yeah. that's what happened here with princess fiona so even if it's you know yeah just even if it's not um like human a robot or or a humanoid yep. it's something but i agree princess fiona was definitely creepy so they changed her yeah um so dreamworks depicted princess fiona as hyper realistic causing the affinity to, for her to drop drastically into the uncanny valley in fact Children in the movie screening were terrified to tears, causing DreamWorks to have to revamp Fiona into a less human-like animation. Wow. So some of the ones that bother me, (laughs) um, Mark Zuckerberg. Oh, God, dude. He's definitely a robot in some of those ads. So, yeah. Yeah. Like, I don't think it's really him. I think he's a robot. He looks like an android. And Mm -hmm. by the way, I looked up the meaning of android. Uh Uh-huh. And it's a human-like robot. Oh, jeez. So, yeah, it's he looks... Yeah. Something about him isn't... I think you're the one that shared that with me a long time ago. Yeah. You shared that video about the meta and he's like, he, it's just unnatural the way his eyes are blinking and like he just doesn't look... Yeah. I feel like it would fool some people, but not all. Right. So, um, yeah, that another is hard one... to watch. Yeah. yeah. Another one is my beloved Eminem. What's up with him? He's um, my... He's beloved to me as well, yeah. by the way. Yeah. <laughs> I don't care what anyone says. He looks like an android. He looks like an avatar of himself. Yeah. It's bizarre. You you think that of him now, yes. recently. Yes. I so, think a lot of celebrities have robots that actually play in their parts when they don't want to do things. Yeah. <laughs> so I know Eminem's gotten older, but it doesn't just look like aging to me. Mm-hmm. Um, it could just be heavy filter usage or even plastic surgery. Um, all I'm saying is that he just doesn't look like Eminem yeah. to me. Especially when you compare old, old pictures of Eminem. Mm-hmm. I can't even see how he would age into that. It's bizarre to me. Yeah. It's something about it is unnatural and mm-hmm. I don't like it. <laughs> That's so weird. Um, there's more. The Rothschilds. Do you know who they are? Mm, no. Okay. So they're a very wealthy family of bankers with considerable influence. Two of the Rothschild family members have very uncanny valley faces. Nat Rothschild looks like Mark Zuckerberg. And Jake, Jacob Rothschild straight up looks reptilian. Oh, jeez. Um, there's a prevailing conspiracy theory that the Rothschilds rule the world by financing both sides of every war. Yeah, and now they, I remember the Rothschilds. What, yeah. As soon as you said reptilian, I was mm-hmm. like, hmm, because mm-hmm. there's a theory of a lot of celebrities, right, mm-hmm. having this... Including Mark Zuckerberg. Reptilian mm-hmm. underneath mm-hmm. the robot. Mm-hmm. The president. Imagine. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry. There was yes. a video of them going around during. God, um, yes. yes. Th- there was a video of them going around of them waving to the crowd during Britain's Got Talent finale. But this was a promo for a wax museum. Oh. But it's still. Okay, that's not even the video I'm thinking of. I'm picturing them in stands at some event. Yep. Like they're, they just 100% don't look like humans. Yeah, there's one that you can tell she's a robot. Like it's yeah. not even really a question, oh. and it they it did say that it was a promo for a wax museum. What about that MTV star? I don't know who he is, but the black guy that glitched out on camera, mm-hmm. he like stared at the camera for like a very long. Well, Eminem's glitched time. out, but they said it was a joke. I didn't put that in here, yeah. but yeah, now that that reminds me, there's a lot of celebrity glitching out. Like, Katie of course, Perry it's a joke. Eyeball. Yes, and then um, Justin Bieber was it Justin Bieber or um, the other guy? I'm pretty sure it was Justin Bieber. He had an eye condition too, yeah, where his eye was acting up and blinking like crazy too. It's like, what if these are just glitches and they have to cover it up? Right. 
Right. I thought the same thing. So, yeah. Weird. We're going to get a little bit more deeper into the celebrity thing. But okay. Despite humans having evolved to recognize, quote, non-humans, mm-hmm. AI is getting smarter every day. Humans have evolved to pick out minute changes in facial expression, something AI cannot do or emulate just yet. Hmm. The website This Person Does Not Exist creates photos of people using AI and sells them. I'm not sure what the purpose is, but scammers use these photos to create fake social profiles. So I'm going to read a little bit direct from this website. So this is the quote. It's almost impossible to recognize an image of a fake person. AI is so developed that 90% of fakes are not recognized by an ordinary person and 50% are not recognized by an experienced photographer. There are no services for recognition. Hmm. Occasionally, a neural network makes mistakes, which is why artifacts appear, an incorrectly bent pattern or a strange hair color and so on. The only thing you need to do is take a closer look. Humans' visual processing systems are far stronger than computers, so it's possible to recognize forgery by detection. Jevin West and Carl Bergstrom created a website called Which Face is Real, which focused on teaching people to be more analytical of potentially false portraits. Before making suggestions that a person in a photo is existent, there are several things that need to be considered. One of the most common ones is symmetrical issues, in particular eyeglasses and earrings. Okay, but what if people are naturally crooked? I feel like I am. They, uh, yes, but if you saw, if you looked it up, you can see that you'll, the you would notice. Yeah. yeah, especially if you're looking for it. Okay. Um, which brings me to Britney Spears. Oh, good. Yeah, so I was going to do a full episode on just what Brittany. the fuck's going on with her. Mm. But I, for now, I think we'll just stick to how this relates to this phenomena. Yeah. Um, if you don't have the same TikTok al- algorithm as me, or if you don't just follow Britney Spears on Instagram, many, 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 many people are experiencing the uncanny valley when watching her videos. Mm-hmm. Mm. I agree 100%. She's, there's something very, very off and weird about her. Mm-hmm. Britney Spears has had a number of mental health crises, 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 which was used as fodder to place her under a conservatorship. Under this conservatorship, her father was put in charge of her career and finances, something Britney eventually fought against. Mm -hmm. This led to the Free Britney movement, in which fans insisted Britney was being held against her will, or at the very least, was wrongfully not in control of her own life. Yeah. In November 2021, which I can't believe it's been that long already, a judge ruled that her conservatorship should be ended. Her strange and sometimes cryptic Instagram post kept coming, Mm -hmm. but then fans started noticing that something just wasn't right with Britney. Mm -hmm. Her videos took a turn from cryptic to just uncanny. Britney has not only just aged as any normal person would, but she just doesn't look the same. Mm -hmm. Videos were uploaded of her dancing with vacant eyes against a strange green screen-like background. This again fueled fans and armchair detectives alike. Mm -hmm. Each post is scrutinized by fans looking for clues and questioning timelines. This led to the eventual range of theories that Britney actually died years ago, Britney is continuing to be held against her will, or that the videos of Britney are actually deep deep fakes. Mm. Using filters created to look like Britney, someone is pretending to be her. TikTok users point out a wide range of strange things in her videos as evidence that they're deep fakes, and the thing is, they're not really wrong. Mm. I don't know really what's true here, but I do get the same sense of dread and unease anytime I see a video of her. Yeah, and her voice is not even the same. I know. We'll talk about that, I'm sure, when you do your episode of her, but her voice, like, she was known for that, like deep gorgeous voice when she was young like mickey mouse club days Mm -hmm. and she had that consistently like through the beginning of her career and now she's very high pitched well they forced her to talk like a baby which Mm. is fucking creepy like it's so creepy i don't think i want to do an episode on her because quite frankly like this is all i wanted to talk about okay um yeah and i just don't like no offense i know people love her but i just don't 
Yeah. I don't care. I mean, I, I care about her as I would any other person. Like, I hope she's yeah. well and stuff, but... But I agree that, like, the videos that you're probably mm-hmm. referring to as cryptic were when she was, like, when fans were saying, like, oh, wear this color if you're in danger, and then the next video she was wearing that color, or, like, they said, is that what you refer so, to? Like, when yeah, she- it went from that to, like, so... I'll get into it, but no, it's all right. So there's something going on with like the glitchiness of her videos. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, so as I read above from the, this person does not exist website, AI has the hardest time with backgrounds, hair and teeth, Mm. all things that are especially glitchy and weird in Britney videos. Fans point out the disappearing and reappearing gap in her teeth and the strange green screen like background of Britney's house that she doesn't even live in anymore. (sighs) So what? Weird. Right. Um, strands of her hair glitching all the way to repeated outfits and the disappearing and reappearing of tattoos. Oh, I didn't know about any of that. Yeah. I really didn't. My algorithm is all about Britney. <sighs> wow. There's this one girl and she says, it's Britney glitch. And I love it. It's so funny. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> so yeah, check that out on TikTok. Um, For real, I'm going to look into that more. Yeah, so... Basically, we've quickly, with the the AI technology, like, rapidly improving by the second, literally, mm-hmm. we've gone from uncanny valley of, like, things that look like human that aren't really to, like, just the fact that, like, you can deep fake an entire person. <sighs> Whether or not Britney's being deep faked, I don't know, but just the fact that it's possible... Mm-hmm. It makes sense because, me, like, be the, the whole conservatorship prior in the past and the control that they had over her being a grown woman um, and all the things she's been through, it's possible she died. It totally is. It's also possible she's still being held against her will, and they're just using this robot Brittany now instead. Yeah, and I saw something else. I saw another video of somebody that was like, sometimes I wake up in the morning and think about all the people that, refused to acknowledge that Britney Spears had mental health issues and that she shouldn't be under a conservatorship. And right. then once she was freed from the conservatorship, now they're like pretending like she still doesn't have a mental illness and like right. they're grasping at like all these wild conspiracy theories. But mm. I don't have like a bias one way or the other because I'm not a Britney Spears fan. Finn. So I don't, yeah. but when I watch the video, something is creepy. Mm-hmm. Something is wrong. Something's unsettling. That's uncanny yeah. Valley where it's, there's like the vacancy in the eyes. There's mm-hmm. something Just about not, the expression. Not human. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's not human. Yeah. And it's, it's, I'm getting chills because it freaks me out. It's yeah. so freaky. It is freaky. And that is really scary to think that that could be our future mm-hmm. sooner than we want it to be mm-hmm. i don't think we'll ever want that to happen but you know there could be robots doing our groceries instead mm-hmm. of us doing them ourselves mm-hmm. or just anything i mean they already have cars that drive themselves snapchat ai has been messaging me that that chat gpt did you see that no oh i yes. sent you the screenshot yeah, like she loves me or something <laughs> i'm like what because i sent i sent like one of those stickers with the heart and she was like love you i was like oh my god the ai chat loves me yeah you had a very big convo <laughs> <laughs> what i didn't even know and this was a like, thing it's like data mining it's like yeah. asking you questions and to, i'm just to like know you yeah i'm just like i like penguins and then she's like going on about penguins like and now i guarantee you she's gonna remember that i like penguins mm-hmm. like i don't even like penguins i'm just making that up yeah but, should be like what's my favorite animal yeah and see but if, they yeah. they like ask you how your day is and stuff like why would you ever right. give information like that like yeah. who's who's mining that and why but anyway that's a whole other that's other a whole thing. other episode <laughs> yeah yeah so there's really only one theory about uncanny valley and that that, that is that it's an evolutionary trait so this means that it took millions of years for humans to evolve to the point where they see human-like but not human as a threat to survival. Hmm. So does that imply that we've been here before as a species? Does that mean that as humans we've been faced before with androids or humans that look like robots? Hmm. Do we know of anything at all in our evolutionary history as a species that resembles a human but isn't? Because for it to be an evolutionary trait, we would have at some point had to have been faced with something like that. So something human but not. 
Yeah, and so, see, I think of like evolutionary trait as like it took this long for robots to develop and AI to, to develop at this point. Like, you know, it evolved over time. It didn't just start out of nowhere. Technology evolved. Technology but humans evolved. humans have had this for before oh, Uncanny AI. Valley, before AI. Yeah. Huh. So where did it come from? So was it aliens? Hmm. Did we as a species encounter things that looked like human but aren't? Hmm. So is it aliens? Is it a shapeshifter? Is it some kind of skinwalker thing? Yeah. Is it something like shadow people? They look like human but they're not. Mm -hmm. Like to me it screams like alien or like reptilian or like... There's something about it that your your instinct is like danger, and that's freaky to me. Yeah. So what gave us this ability to decipher what's human and what isn't? It's good thought. Because there's no, we don't have any predators that look like us but aren't that we know of. Right, unless, like you said, it's from some like another planet coming here and they look like us. Millions not. of years ago. Yeah, I don't know. This is a hard theory for me to wrap my mind around. Like. It's hard for me to think about that, like if it was an evolutionary thing. Mm -hmm. So can it not be an evolutionary thing? Like, can it just be a new age thing? Like, does it have to be, does it have to be a theory like that? No, it doesn't have to be that, but that's the only theory that I've read. Yeah. And like scientifically, any other thing like, like, you know, the fear of like things with holes in it. Have you ever seen that? Yeah. So that's evolutionary because we've learned that things like that are bad. Or things that look like that are dangerous for whatever reason. Yeah, I always just think, like, bugs are going to come out of the holes. Yeah. (laughs) So, I mean... But why? I don't think everybody doesn't like it because of the holes, because of, because of bugs. Well, I think that is like um, or it's one similar of the to like just something like some unnatural kind of or something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like, hmm. there's there's reasons why your brain, like yeah. your monkey part of your brain, does that. <sighs> for some people, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's another episode. Um, so. Like like you mentioned with the weird places, yeah. Um, this reminds me of something else. So, have you ever seen someone and just known they were evil? Yeah, in their eyes. In their eyes, mm-hmm. right? So, like something I just wrote, like something in their face or their eyes mm-hmm. is not really human. It's like an evil thing. It. I mean, they might be human. Maybe that's the wrong term for it. But there's something in there that's like evil, in some sort of way. So mm-hmm. I usually come across that in like mug shots. Um, yeah. Every once in a while, I'll see a mug shot and I'm like, damn, that person's got like, I don't know what, like, like, yeah. I don't, cause I don't necessarily believe in like good and evil from a religious standpoint, but uh, right. you know, that evil kind of look. Yeah. So there's two that I can think of off the top of my head. Um, the first one is Kyler Yust. Yust, have you heard of him? No. He murdered two of his ex-girlfriends, Kara Kapetsky and Jessica Runyon's. His mugshot is so scary. scary. Look him up. It's K Y L R Yust. Okay. Look up his I, mugshot. I got it. There's one that's like so hmm. disturbing. Oh, to, but like all of them are disturbing. I'm trying to find out which one is him for some reason. Um, I didn't type in the. Oh, yeah. K Y L R. He has the tattoo around his neck. Like, yeah. Hmm. Something in his eyes, like. He kind of looks like a robot a little bit in this yes. photo. Yes. So what's up with that? Hmm. Maybe he was a robot and he and he, he can kill easily because he's a robot. You know? All right, and he doesn't look- have real feelings. He doesn't have a real soul. Yeah. So Some like, people don't look like they have a soul. That's what that's it is. That's what it is. Yeah. So now look up um, Kenneth Copeland. I could see it in, uh, what's his name, with the, the girl who was just murdered, Gabby. and Oh, yeah. Him. Yeah. Um, yeah, Gabby Petito and Brian Laundry. Yeah, I agree. Mm. I agree with that. And um, uh, Watts too. Like they just oh, have Chris like Watts, they have no yeah. soul. Yeah. In those photos, or just like because they don't. Like sometimes they just literally just did the most evil thing. Yeah, I don't get that from um, from um, Watts. No, but yeah. I can see why somebody would. But yeah, you don't feel the same. No, like, about no, that. it's like rare that I see that. Mm-hmm. Like. For as many crimes committed as there are, like I yeah. don't see that very so often. So this but. Kenneth Copeland is he? Uh, he's a um, he's a like a he's criminal. A, no, he's oh, a televangelist. I see now. Okay, but 
I feel like it's just his, his eyes are a little crooked. Like they look unnatural Something, because yeah, and they're blue evil. and he, he looks, looks like evil. almost plastic. Like yes. he looks because his skin looks very like leathery Taut. and yes and 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 those eyes. I mean, it's they're beautiful color, but man, I can see what you mean. They're they don't look natural. There's a video of him. If you get a chance, watch it. Um, it if you're looking at Google Images, it's the him him standing outside of the car. Oh, I'm looking at that photo yeah. right now on my screen. Yeah, somebody's questioning him, mm-hmm. and, and his hands are like this. Yes, out. somebody's questioning him. If you get a chance, watch the video. He like yeah, uh, those he eyes. Straight up looks like he's shifting in front of your eyes. It's wow. fucking creepy. It's that is so creepy. Super weird. And then we could get into like biden and stuff like that which Mm. like i don't necessarily want to go down that road but i can see why somebody would think especially if you look at like before and after pictures of him granted presidency does a number on people's like physical yeah looks but and pregnancy um, (laughs) (laughs) presidency motherhood everything presidency and pregnancy yeah so yeah so i don't know it makes me wonder if we do have some kind of evolutionary trait to pick up on e- either some kind of evilness or some kind of, uh, I don't know. Yeah. What do you think? I I don't have many thoughts on this one. I think that everything you talked about is extremely creepy and, and I'm, I'm with you there. I think the whole like graph of the uncanny valley and how it dips off so deeply like that is... You know, it's thought provoking. Like, where did it come from? But yeah, I don't know. My brain doesn't think too much further past it. It's hard, or it's hard for me to think further past it, I guess. But like you said, it's just hard to imagine with us not knowing of anything else that we can right. think of that humans have experienced. Like, right. wouldn't it be documented? You know, like no, over time. No, because like, look at look at. Okay, remember when we did the Upshur Bell and that guy said that mathematically it's possible for like thousands of human races to have come and gone um, or other like ancient civilizations to have come and gone. So it's very, very possible that as a species Uh we have seen like gods with a bird body but a human head or or vice versa or like or aliens because we know aliens have been here like let's just face it let's not pretend like it's a possibility like we know that yeah right for sure at least that's what i believe yes of course i I don't have evidence i just don't know how much like humans aliens look to the point where like we would you know what i'm saying like i feel like there could be aliens that look just like us, you know? There, there could well, be. Well, supposedly, Maybe just there a little is. bit bigger of eyes. And, like, we've talked about smaller noses and no ears. Is just that little Uncanny subtle, Valley? Yeah. Probably. Because I mean, it looks nobody's, like us but isn't. Yeah, nobody's going to look at an alien and be like, that's freaking cool looking and not feel scared. Because, of course, it's fucking scary. We know well, it's not human. we know, human. like, the greys and the reptilians don't look anything like us. No. But there's, like, lists. There's I want to get into that in an episode. But there's, like, whole lists of, like, there's all so the alien races. Species, and right. so many of them look human. Huh. So it makes you wonder, and if it's not alien, maybe it's like a shape-shifting thing. I mean, do do you know people in your life that you can think of that look alien? Because I do. Yeah. yeah. I have quite a few people I can picture in my head right now yeah. that I like went to school with and stuff, and I'm like, they have to be part alien. Oh, yeah. Yes. Sometimes they just look like hybrids. Yeah. And they act like hybrids, yeah. too. Like weird. Mm-hmm. I mean, I was weird, but, you know, that not that weird. Yeah. So... Yeah, like, they, it just makes you wonder. Um, but, yeah, the the evolutionary thing is just, like, you know, small little differences over long stretches of time creating yeah, yeah. this result. And I it's just, like, survi- exposure to learn, right? It's, and like, like, supposedly, if you believe in it, because I know a lot of people don't believe in, like, evolutionary theory, but I know. I, I roll. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, it's basically just survival of the fittest. So if your parents were the type to question a being that looks human but isn't and it saved their life, they pass down that genetic trait to you and then it goes on and on and on until all humans have that trait because they needed it to survive. Hmm. So the survival, like, passed down that trait. Yeah. 
so i mean we know that i'm gonna cut this out because everybody knows this i don't want to sound like i'm like talking down to people i don't know if everybody would know that honestly like there's definitely some people that are like they don't think outside of the box of what they know like and i i guess don't some question schools anything. don't teach that either yeah. because of creationism mm-hmm. and that stuff mm-hmm. why can't it be both like why can't it be creationism and evolution yeah like why can't i mean i don't want to offend anybody but like i think that if mary and you know G- <laughs> jesus really are real humans in our history they evolved from monkeys unless an alien came in and you know intervened and that's how mary got pregnant and then yeah i mean not to offend anybody with religion i'm not not trying to tell everybody that jesus is part alien but it's a very very interesting thought i mean if 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 he was part alien it would it would explain his supernatural abilities right like how he just died and came back. I how mean, he died and came back. How yeah, he turned how, liquids into other liquids and parted entire uh-huh, seas and uh-huh. all this shit. But like, I think somebody else parted the seas. Yeah, but, whatever. But still, but still, I want to. <laughs> yeah, I wanted to like say Moses, Moses, but yeah, yeah, Moses. I think parted the seas. Yeah. So I have a whole other theory about that that hopefully we can get into soon. But that's all I have for this episode. All right. Katie's missing cat has been spotted, so we're going to go <laughs> run and go find him. <laughs> I hope so. That would be amazing. He's yes. two weeks today. He's been gone, my yes. my boy. So yeah, let's let's hope we can find him. Yes. Thank you for this episode. No problem. Thanks for listening to my spiel. Yeah, super, <laughs> super creepy, uncanny valley. I love it. All right. Thank you. And we will talk to you soon. Stay, Stay mysterious. mysterious.